Hello everybody, welcome to episode 78 of the Iron Man series. Apologies, I'm probably going to be doing intros and outros at this spot for a very long time just because of the limited amount of time that I can actually edit videos. So yeah, this is pretty much how it's going to be for a little bit until I go to America again. But anyways, before I start though, I have one question for you guys. So I have been doing this YouTube channel for obviously a while now, definitely over a year now. And I just wanted to know if you don't mind sharing what video you guys started watching this channel on as in like what video got you hooked into coming back to this channel just because I'm really curious to see how many of you guys have been here for a long time and whatnot I'm not gonna do a straw poll or anything cuz it's just gonna be informal you know just want to get a small picture but anyways enjoy today's episode guys this is probably my best kill fight queen trip so far because I managed to get 3 kills quite comfortably because as you can see I still have quite a bit of food left and I can definitely go for a 4th attempt probably not gonna get that one though This was a seriously fast clue at 4 steps and I got quite a bit of rune items and that's really it for this clue just nice algables honestly so I am running low in cash once again but as usual I always stock up right before the inevitable 0 GP but yeah, let me just take away the blood runes and this is all the outs that I'll be doing uh, over 12 mil worth So I'm gonna be doing that on a slayer task at blood veils real quick and yeah Should be able to get around 12 mil from these outs quite easily And this one is my final out of the onyx bolts enchanted that I made a while ago from the venonatus grind a long time ago If you're new you probably don't know but yeah, I killed a lot of venonatus for that rune pouch and I managed to make myself over a thousand onyx bolts but yeah got myself almost 12 mil from all the elves. Most of you guys are aware that the bird eggs from the nest that you get from Kingdom of Miscellanea has been absolutely useless on old school runescape but today is the day in which the god eggs are actually quite useful now so they release the shrine in the woodcutting guild which allows you to trade each egg for a bird's nest of seed and you also get prayer experience well I'm getting a hundred prayer experience but yeah it is guaranteed prayer experience and bird's nest so I wish I didn't drop some of them because I remember early on on this account I actually probably dropped a few of them yeah that kinda sucks but who would expect it, it to have a use but yes I believe you do need access to the woodcutting guild which requires favor so if you don't have the woodcutting level or the favor then you can't do this but yeah definitely worth it I mean as a side thing you know besides just going for the guild you also get access to the shrine but yeah it's also an altar I noticed as you can see by the prayer icon in the map but yeah I cannot wait to get some more bird eggs because these seeds are really nice and the nest too as well what the heck guys I just got an evil chicken head and I didn't know you can get something else besides you know the bird's nest with the seeds and I checked the homepage and apparently you can also get this new costume set from these bird eggs at a rare rate probably and I'm pretty sure they're tradable so this thing probably sells for a lot but since it's a new item I don't think there is a actual price on it at the moment but I could bet that it probably sells for a few mil so but I'm an Iron Man so I'm just gonna keep it but yeah that's kinda funny dude I was just you know chilling and then I noticed some black stuff appeared in the screen I was like what the fuck is that and cool so I have stocked up on a shit ton of ancient shards and I believe this is enough for an extra 4,000 charges So by the end of this I should have like 8,000 or, or something or close But yeah 7,000 charges pretty damn nice So I will definitely be using this weapon at the Zami boss when I start grinding it And I may just head back to the Abyss of Sire just because I really want to test out this bad boy on actual bosses because I haven't been able to yet so it will be actually pretty fun even though I don't really need anything from the boss like Sire. So this clip probably won't make much sense because I plan on explaining this a little bit later but right now I'm at temple trekking right now and the idea is I am trying to get myself full lumberjack so they made an update uh, recently where you can now get the lumberjack items yes Ooh, lumberjack top the first one but anyways yeah they made an update where you can now get the lumberjack items in order so you won't get like random multiple pieces because I remember people I mean at least Alkin he had like I don't know maybe 30 pieces of the same thing and he was missing like that one item but now you don't have to worry about that anymore and I've heard you can do this in an hour honestly or less 
So with my setup with the Mauritania Legs 3, I can just teleport and keep redoing this really quickly. And also I'm doing the easy route right now because that is probably the easiest way to hunt for this event. So this is the event in which you can get the Lumberjack pieces. You have to kill the zombies. I think like, I don't know, maybe five spawns. They kind of spawn random numbers and I've heard there's like a way to actually spawn more of them. But doing it the normal way without like some crazy technique, I think I might be able to do this in an hour. I've only been doing this for like probably 10 minutes and I already got the lumberjack top so yeah at this rate I could be done very soon. So this is the second encounter and this is my last zombie can we get it yes lumberjack legs all right and there is another one actually I don't think they drop anymore after all the other ones have spawned in order unless you do that like method where you kill all of them in one take or something like that but yeah already halfway done and it hasn't even been 30 minutes. So I have come to the realization that a lot of people actually don't know what the fuck tempo trekking is But this is how you usually start tempo trekking If you're trying to camp for the lumberjack like I am, ignore like the other routes Just go to the one on the left, that is the easy route And basically you can evade any of those routes, you don't have to fight any monsters in there You can just escape and just move on to the next one and hopefully that's like the zombie one Is there one more? Oh my god, yes There's another one coming up, so this is probably the last one guys and third event again, so maybe we can get a third piece in a row. Oh my god, dude. I didn't know they made it this easy, right? I heard it was easy after that update, but damn, I did not realize it was that easy. So that means one more piece to go. It could be as easy as just one more event of these and we're done. I thought this was the zombie encounter, but no, this other zombie encounter does not count. If you see trees on this side, then you should just leave because it's not going to drop the lumberjack. So this is actually attempt number 6 because the 2 before this one didn't drop anything. And I don't think they will drop this one either. Oh come on, don't make me go 3 dry. I mean it hasn't been that long. So hopefully this guy drops it, come on. Get it! Yes! Lumberjack boots! Oh man that's dope. Okay, well that's it guys. I got myself full lumberjack in about an hour. Wow that is insane so yeah if you haven't gotten yourself lumberjack yet i highly recommend you do because as you can see it was very quick and it's definitely worth it if you're grinding long term for woodcutting so uh, anyways they also made temple tracking update once again actually more recently and this time you can actually choose rewards from your tokens and rs3 had that a long time ago but old school never worked on temple tracking that much they never redid it but now they did so this might become a really good thing for Iron Man and maybe even main accounts because look at the stuff they have herbs, bowstrings, coal iron ore, watermelon seeds, silver bars, pure essence, lobsters I mean for an Iron Man specifically you can choose exactly what you need at the moment for me I'm gonna choose watermelon seeds because the other stuff I don't really need but I don't know if low level Iron Man could do this like really easily but just for example you're trying to like make some long bows or something to alk and you don't want to do bow strings, you can get them from here or you want to train farming because farming is a bitch low level try out some watermelon seeds from here I don't know how practical that is but for future Ironmen out there or you know Ironmans that are looking to get supplies but don't know where the hell to get such supplies you might want to check out tempo tracking because it might be really good meta for collecting all these resource items to train whatever skill it is that you need to train I mean farming right off the bat maybe even crafting I don't know how good the silver bar is but yeah, simple trekking, definitely check that out. So I am at the Apatol Island cutting teak trees and if you're wondering why I'm doing that, it's because I actually set a new goal of 77 construction and once I get that, I can build elite stashes for elite clues so then I can save some bank space and do all types of clues a lot easier. So this method I'm doing is pretty cool. It's probably not that well known, so I'll explain it. Essentially, you need to be on Zaya's Spellbook and 90 Magic, and with this, you can use the Apatol Teleport, which sends you to the dungeon, which is super close to the Teak Trees. And once you get a full inventory of Teaks, you teleport to Hosidia's house or to your house. And I'm using the Sarah's Necklace to do that because normally you use house tablets, but it's a pain to make on an Iron Man, so the Sarah's Necklace is actually pretty good on that. Both methods are pretty good though. And I sent my house to Hosidia's, of course. And if you didn't know, you can actually talk to your butler and he can send your logs to the sawmill and then he can turn them into planks and also send them to the bank so that skips the whole process of that 
So if you're doing this method, it'll save you a lot of time. And then once that's done, you just teleport back to Apatol using that same spell, climb up the ladder, and repeat the whole process. So this method is probably one of the fastest ways to train construction on an Iron Man. I'm not sure if it is, but from all the possible choices that I am thinking of, this is probably the best. So I need around 9,400 teak planks to get to 77 construction, but if I were to do oak planks, I would need around 14,300, which is like a 5,000 difference. So teaks are definitely quite faster, although it is around 800k more expensive, but honestly, I got tons of money to blow. So it's not a problem at all. I just want to do the obviously faster method. And this is why I got the lumberjack outfit, just because I've been woodcutting so much anyways, I might as well. The experience is quite nice with the lumberjack addition. So this is the experience that I'm getting usually around 55k. Actually it's more like 50k if I don't pay as much attention, but yeah, it's already better than yew trees. And also I am teleporting all over the place to transfer the logs. But yeah, even with that, it's still pretty damn good experience. Apology guys, I just missed out on 84 woodcutting, but I am hastily editing episode 85 right now because this is like the only time that I can edit right now. So yeah, I'm just not paying attention. I'm also getting a shit ton of bird's nets from the teak trees and a lot of times it's actually clues. So that's also a bonus. I of course love my medium clue scrolls and honestly any other clue. So alright guys, gonna get myself a farming level and it's definitely been a long time, but <laughs> what the fuck, 91 farming guys. And now I can plant two spare trees and get triple magic roots without having to boost. So that's very nice. Now, probably in the future, I will definitely start planting some spirit trees again, so I don't need to use the garden pie, so that's really nice. And this is crazy. I need 8 more farming levels, if you think about it, to 99 farming. And when the fuck have I ever been this interested in farming, honestly? Like, I've never had 90+, plus except on my r Iron Man, but that's a different story, you know? A different sphere of grinding for it, but wow, what gains, dudes. 600k to 92, though. Halfway point. We'll get there. We got six, eight, five, nine. Thank you, all this buddy, man. You OP client. Okay. What do we get? What's the reward? Oh, Banner's Cloak, U Combo. Come on. No, I'm not picking up any more U Combos anymore. Fuck that. Banner's Cloak, though. I can pretty much say that it is a unique item, so not a bad mech clue. Not bad. Alright, guys, another clue. So let's open it up. Oh, nice. Steel plate body trim. And I'm pretty sure it's a free-to-play item. Wow, it's worth 824k. Okay, it's probably one of those troll price items though. So I'm gonna check it with the actual price check and see if there's any actual price. Oh, it's buddy guy price 75k. Ah, whatever, man. Still pretty damn good for an easy clue. So I have spent a good amount of time cutting teaks with this method for the past two days. And so far I got 4,000 teak planks. And I am going to be stopping here, probably gonna resume a little bit later because I'm itching to do something else, of course. This can get pretty boring, so yep, with 4k, hopefully I can get a few levels off the bat, that would be great. Hey, here's something to break the monotony, guys. 93 Lizardmen, so time to kill some shamans and get that Dragon War Hammer. Nah, definitely not this task, but... And yes, that was a quick task, but nothing out of the ordinary, so yeah, had really nothing to record. But I am closing in on a thousand KC, guys. Well, about to get my first construction level in a long time, guys. 69 construction. There we go. And I can make a bunch of stuff, just like every other level. But honestly, do I even care about those perks? Honestly, no. But anyways, the experience, of course, with any type of planes is pretty damn crazy now that I'm actually starting to use all the stuff that I've gathered. I will see you with 70 construction very soon and here is another level guys of 70 construction i can now build the dungeon okay that's pretty cool and a bunch of other stuff but yes that is a cool milestone i suppose another level 70 skill i still have a few skills though that aren't level 70 but i'll get around to it eventually now that i'm on the skill and grind anyways but yeah see you with maybe one more construction level i think i'll get one more before i stop and do something else Yes guys, 71 construction, yo, and we can build tentacle pool. Oh, interesting. Well, that concludes my construction training for today. I'll definitely hit up some more construction later until 77, of course. But honestly, I think I might have to do some more construction even after that. But there are some crazy player only updates coming out that is super useful, so might as well train construction even higher in the future. Back at teeth already guys, but the gains must continue. 85 wood cutting, so that is 5 more levels to go for 90 wood cutting for that master clue score requirements. 
And honestly, by the time I finish all the T planes that I need for the 77 construction, probably gonna hit some more woodcutting levels. And that will be all for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure to tell me what was the video or episode that got you into the channel. If you want to be descriptive, feel free. I don't mind. I would love to hear all about it. And aside from that, I'll see you guys later with another video in a few days, hopefully. Take care and bye-bye.